Hello, Paper Crafters. Welcome to 30-ish Tuesday. 30-ish anniversary, that is. So yeah, we um, are approaching our 32nd wedding anniversary next week. And this is actually photos from our 25th wedding anniversary. And so I thought I would get this layout done. So um, this was a fun night for our family. We um, had a Hummer limo. So that was quite exciting. My husband surprised us with that. And so with two teenage sons, that was perfect for them. They thought that was the greatest thing. And so we went out to dinner and then after dinner, the Hummer limo was waiting for us in the parking lot and it drove us up to uh, Portland to uh, Voodoo Donuts. If you don't know what Voodoo Donuts is, oh my goodness, you're missing out. They have the greatest donuts. Um, very unique. Um, some of them a little bit on the, you know, the edgy side. But um, anyway, so yeah, we went and picked up some friends in the Portland area. And then we went on into Portland to Voodoo Donuts. And then after we picked up the donuts, we stopped by like a plaid pantry and um my friend's husband and i think even my husband ran inside and bought us like pints of milk <laughs> to have with the donuts and so the driver of the limo was just cracking up actually no the chauffeur yes that's right we gave him the money and he ran in to get it that's right oh the memories are coming back so yeah that was awesome so we sat in the back of a limo uh, having voodoo donuts and milk <laughs> by the pint. <laughs> so great memories. And so, yes, so let me just, uh, I'll go back to my ring. Yes, it is on the middle finger. It's because my actual wedding ring needs to be taken into the shop, needs to be, you know, kind of given the good old tune up because the prongs are a little bit bent. And then uh, my 10-year wedding band uh, has a diamond missing. And so that left me with these two. This is my 25th wedding ring. And that was given to me this night while we were in the, the Hummer limo. So anyway, so I wear it on my middle finger because it's too big. And between this other ring, this is for some, it was kind of a thank you gift for my husband. But it holds that ring on that middle finger so i know it's weird but i really need to get my rings in it was honestly three years uh, next week because next week is spring break and it was during a spring break that the diamond pop out and i've just i just haven't wanted to spend the money on a diamond that i've lost it just kind of breaks my heart but i'm also not wearing my ring so anyway i had told this story in one of my motivation challenge videos I think it was R talking no it was J talking about jewelry and I brought it up that I know it's weird people are probably wondering why is that on your middle finger well that is why so I'm really contemplating that I really need to get in and get that fixed so yeah so that's why that is there it really these two actually go over on this no let's see I usually wear this on this finger this band on this finger wedding no this finger wedding ring here and then my anniversary band i wear in the middle finger <laughs> see it's best long i don't remember how i wear my rings but i usually have four rings on four fingers so but like i say come uh spring break it'll be three years since i i lost that diamond so i was playing with ally my cat and i think her claw got up under there and uh flicked it out so you can see i've got my husband and my children's faces covered up, but I do have mine because, yeah, you've seen pictures of me. I just don't share them, but you can see the aging process. What 25 years has done. It's been and 32 years next week. <laughs> so 32 years, two sons, a daughter-in-law, and a grandson pretty exciting something to truly be celebrated and I don't have hair that's that long anymore 
actually not even shoulder length yet. I was going to grow it out to be shoulder length, but when I started having problems with my shoulders, I wasn't able to do anything with it. I can't, I couldn't reach the back of my hair, so I had to keep it a little bit shorter. So there went that hope and dream. So yeah, so that's our wedding picture. This is 25 years. This is all four of us in front of the Hummer limo. And 25th wedding anniversary is silver. So Google chose the number 49, which is chipboard. So I chose these chipboard letters and I have used silver embossing powder on them to make them silver. And they are a bit rustic looking. So I'll hold them up here when I'm done. And you can see that they're kind of rustic. And I, I really like how that turned out because we are in a Hummer limo, not really a luxurious limo. And I have two boys. It just seemed appropriate that it kind of looked rustic. And I was like, that, that fits our family. So I'm going to go with it. So, and then I had these two and I just liked that these kind of framed around our family that 25 years. And, and this is, this is who we were at that time. The four of us, this is before my daughter-in-law was part of our family there. All right. So then I have some stickers. I thought about. I have um, these stamps here and it had 25th silver anniversary, but I don't know. I just didn't think I wanted to do that. I wanted to stay more with the dimension. So I found these stickers and it does have gold on it, but you know, it kind of looks like the champagne. So I, I'm okay if that the silver and gold is mixed up in here, but I thought this was great for this layout. So I'm going to use this happy anniversary banner. I'm going to put that underneath this picture, although that's a wedding picture. I'm still going to put it there or maybe not. Maybe I should just kind of put, maybe I'll do that. That seems more appropriate, doesn't it? I, th I think I like that better. Okay. Do that. But that is truly the anniversary picture. And then a toast to us. Let's see where we like that. Maybe down here. Because it is kind of... I, I like the fact that we're celebrating all four of us. So a toast to us as a family. I want that to be kind of tucked up in there. Yeah, we'll just make that fit. It's on pop dot, so it kind of lifts it up, so it lays on that per appropriately. Okay. And then there's just the flowers. And I don't think those necessarily apply, but that looks like the jewelry box, like the ring came in. That'd be kind of fun. We can kind of stick that down there. Yeah. Embellishes that corner. Okay, so let me show you these letters. See how they kind of look rustic with the embossing powder? It might have been because I was rushing too, but I, I like I like that. I turned my face. I probably was quiet again. Without the glare of the pictures, there we go. So there is my thirty-ish anniversary Tuesday layout for you. So I want to thank you again for being here. I hope that you are um, taking some of these prompts and maybe trying to challenge yourself. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but maybe the prompt of using chipboard today. I do have a Kim Ferguson Facebook page that I do post in the morning. I try to introducing what the day is, what the picture focus will be, and then what Google has prompted me to do from my list of supplies. So feel free to friend me on there. I don't do anything like personal pictures or anything. It is for people that are interested in kind of just the, the preliminary ideas of what I've got going on, but there is always my YouTube channel. So I thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having, having a great crafty evening. And um, did I spell memories right?
I didn't. <laughs> I, was, I was talking and not paying attention. <laughs> that is funny. There we go. All right. Oh my goodness. I really messed that up, didn't I? I am so glad I caught that before. It was just really awful. All right, then. There we go. So how many of you were sitting there saying you spelt that wrong? I will clean all that up. I'm not too worried about it. All right. Memories is now spelled correctly. All of a sudden I looked over. I'm like, wait, I just randomly put all those letters down. They were so evenly placed, but so incorrectly placed. All right, you guys, I got to fix this. All right. Take care. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting.